the guards, Roman guards, the most fearsome soldiers the world has ever known, were paralyzed with fear. So frightened, they, they fell. They were dead. The women at the tomb were afraid. His friends, so afraid, they locked themselves in a room. So afraid, they couldn't make themselves believe what the women finally told them. The priests were so afraid, they paid people to broadcast alternative facts. And Pilate was so afraid, he believed the alternative facts. People were afraid of the resurrection. And that surprises me. Why should anyone be afraid of the resurrection? I understand being afraid of the cross. The Romans crucified people not to kill them. Killing people is, is as fast and as easy as the flick of a sword. The Romans did not practice crucifixion to kill. The Romans practiced crucifixion to terrify others. Pilate wrote Jesus' sign in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek because he wanted everyone who walked past to be afraid, to watch their step, to fall in line, to watch what they said and to whom they said it. You bomb Palm Sunday Mass in Cairo. You bomb a subway in St. Petersburg, a soccer team in Germany, in order to make other people afraid. You drive trucks into crowds in France and Sweden, shoot people in Brussels, Paris, and Orlando, not because you want to kill people, but because you want to make people afraid. You gas women and children in Syria to make other people afraid. You beat men holding hands in the Netherlands and Chechnya to make people afraid. Girls are kidnapped in Nigeria, women assaulted on public buses in Mumbai, women harassed in the workplace, even shot in classrooms to make them afraid, compliant, obedient, servile. Border agents enter schools to talk to children who are citizens of the United States so their immigrant parents will become afraid of losing their family. Bullying on playgrounds, sexting on Snapchat, rumors tweeted all by children who wish to make other children afraid. But we should not be afraid of the resurrection. We should not be afraid that it is too good to be true. We should not be afraid that we are wrong when we proclaim that God raised Jesus from the dead. Do not be afraid, the risen Christ tells us. Do not be afraid of loving in a crucified world. Do not be afraid of being merciful. Do not be afraid to be gentle. Do not be afraid to cry. Do not be afraid to comfort and be comforted. Do not be afraid to hunger and thirst for righteousness. Do not be afraid to be peacemakers to be persecuted in the cause of justice. Do not be afraid of living in the kingdom of God that has already begun. Sisters and brothers, eternal life has already started. 
It's here. It's now. There is no other life to live. Our death is just but one chapter in an eternity of love lived with God. So do not be afraid of being in love with God right now. Don't be afraid of feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked. Don't be afraid to companion the lonely, to visit those in prison. Don't be afraid of coming to the aid of those life has beaten and left on the side of the road. Don't be afraid of forgiving those who have sinned against you. Do not be afraid of the stranger. Do not be afraid of your neighbor. Do not be afraid of yourself. Do not be afraid because the Holy Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead lives in your heart now. And with that same love with which he raised Jesus from the dead will raise you to everlasting love in that place beyond space and time where God lives and loves forever and ever. Jesus' message to the women is, get the disciples back into Galilee. Tell them not to be afraid of going back to where this all began, back to where they first met him, back to the place where they live their lives. Go back, not because this is all over, but because real life has just begun. Go back into your life, and there you will see the risen Lord. Do you want to see the risen Lord? Pope Francis reminds us time and time again that the risen Lord is to be seen. In the worried faces we reassure, the hungry mouths we feed, the tired hands whose burden we pick up, the sore feet we massage, the aching hearts we comfort. The risen Lord can be felt in the back of the people we hug, in all who are poor, in all who are in need of our care. Resurrection is not a delusion, an escape from real life. It's an invitation to enter into real life. And real life happens when we are no longer afraid of the love that our hearts want to give no longer afraid of befriending the stranger, no longer afraid of pouring out our lives for others, no longer afraid of being merciful, no longer of afraid of standing with and for all those who suffer. Satan and all his works, they are very busy. But we are no longer afraid of him for he can no longer stop us from loving. And we are in fact eager to confront, reject, and overcome all evil. Sisters and brothers, Jesus is risen. We are the first fruits of the risen Christ. We here are his revelation, our beautiful energies making room for his love and starting with ourselves making of an old world a new world, a world loved, forgiven, and renewed by the love of God. And so when you leave this church, do not be afraid to live the love that is in your hearts. And do not be afraid to announce with your lives that Christ is risen. Happy Easter. Amen.